Hello everyone, welcome to our live stream for today. My name is Mohamed Faris and I'm here with Pravin Raj Muridharan. We're both from the Tech Talk team from GDSCUM. So actually, what is our event today, Pravin? Hmm, I think it's a quite special event because it is the first event of GDSCUM today. And what can we expect? It's our first event, so it's going to be really, really special. So welcome everyone, all 26 of you who's watching right now. To those who have any questions, can just send it in the live chat, the live chat box below. And in any Q&A, we'll moderate it, of course. Keep it clean, guys. Yes. And so what is our event today? It is GSC Info, Info Day. Day. So who's our, um, who's our first talk? Who's our first moderator? So before we talk about who's the first speaker, I would like to thank all of you here today. And yes, if you have more friends, share it to them, share the link and let them know about GDSC Info Day right now. Do it right now, guys. Share it to your friends, family, grandmother, cat, anyone. Just share it. Just blast the link everywhere you can yes. see. The more people, the more merrier it gets. And apart from that, thanking you all and also we'd like to thank our speakers today, which includes our members of GDSC, Zui, Jowen, Marl, Daniel, Case, Kai, and many others. So if you don't know any of them here, don't worry. We will get to know them very soon. And to begin with, we would like to invite GDSC lead Zui to give an amazing starting speech right now. So without further ado, go ahead and take the floor, Zui. Thank you, Faris. And um, yeah, so I'm, my name is Zui and I'm the lead for GDSCUM. So I'm super glad to see all of you here at our very first event, the Info Day. So you will be walking away with a deeper understanding about your club and what you will gain and experience with us. And next slide, please. And next, yeah. So if you ever wonder what is GDSC, it is the abbreviation for Google Developer Student Clubs. And we are a university-based community, and in this scenario, specifically, University of Malaya. So, in this community, we provide a peer-to-peer -peer learning environment for you to learn and develop your skills focusing on Google Developer Technologies. Next slide. So what are Google Developer Technologies? Basically, they are just uh, the knowledge and skills that can make a person a developer who can create solutions. And these technologies include, but are not limited to, Google Cloud, something that is very high demand nowadays. You can see um, cloud-related jobs everywhere. And if you are new to this field, um, you can actually do a bunch of things with Google Cloud, for example, um, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, and even data analytics and many more. And besides, we also have Android, TensorFlow, Flutter, Firebase, Google Assistant, and Google Maps, and much more. So you can expect yourself to be exposed to some of these technologies, but not all, unfortunately, because we wouldn't have the time to um, cover all the topics. But there is a, a special thing about GDSC that can allow you to um, learn all of this and more on this later. So now let's move on to the next slide. And this is how GDSC works, um, our very brief timeline. So um, you'll notice that um, the past few months we have been very quiet and sorry, sorry about that because we are setting up our club. And thank you for staying with us if you have been our club member previously already. And yeah, so from October until March, we will have a lot of learning and building activities, which means we will have workshops and talks that can help to develop your technical skills and prepare you to become a developer. And then you will notice that in January until March, there is an event called Google Solution Challenge, which is our flagship event and international hackathon. And we will talk about this more later. And then uh, during April until June, um, there will be showcase season in which the participants of Google Solution Challenge uh, receive Google mentorship, um, be evaluated, be judged, and they have the chance to showcase and pitch their applications. And at the same time, there will be GDSC lead interview. So if you are interested in taking over the GDSC UM for the next term, please stay tuned for this. Yeah, and then moving on to the next slide. Now we will talk about a very important platform called the community platform. So this is where we will publish our events and where you can join the event. And let me share the link to the platform in the chat box. 
So if you click into this link, you'll be greeted with this page and in which uh, it defines what GDIC is. And then if you scroll down further to the next slide, you will see all the upcoming events near you, um, including those events that are not organized by GDIC UM. So this is why I say previously that even though GDIC UM may not cover all the topics, you will still have the chance to learn all the technologies because other GDIC might um, have those events. So you can constantly check out this platform and find out interesting events near you. And if you scroll down further to the next slide, you'll see a map that lets you look at all the GDIC available on the globe. And yep, there are about 1,500 GDICs available in 106 countries. And in Malaysia, there are 16 active GDICs and we are one of them. Next. Right, if you go to GDIC UM's page, and I will share the link to you in the chat, you will see that uh, it will tell you when have you been our member and just in case if you haven't already joined us here um, go to go to this link and just click the join us button and by joining us at this platform it means that you are recognized as our club member and next slide now a very important question what do we actually do and the answer will be spreading impacts and creating impacts by creating solutions using all the developer technologies that we have learned previously um, through all the workshops and talks. So that is why we have all these workshops and that is to prepare you to become a developer that can create solutions and solve real world problems and make um, the society a better place. And so here are three example applications um, that are developed by the students um, submitted in the previous Google Solution Challenge, and they are, they are also the top three winners for that competition. And the first one is iRISE, developed by the students in Philippines, um, and it aims to bridge the information gap between government and communities. And basically, the technology that they use are Flutter, Cloud Firestore, and Firebase. And the app can detect um, the weather and tide in four warnings of typhoons and trigger evacuation. And then the second application is called Dementic Care, developed by students from Singapore and aim for caregiving for dementia patients. And they build this app using Flutter and the user of this application can create profiles, send urgent notices, create SOS messages, and um, they share feeds uh, related to dementia. And then the third application is called Isle of God, developed by students from India. They use Flutter, Firebase, TensorFlow, Arduino, Google Map, Bluetooth, and many more. And this is to help the visually impaired person to navigate around their surroundings. And so I will share these three links to you so that you can have a closer look at their applications. Right, and then, so I will end my sharing here and I would like to conclude with just one point in GDIC, together we create impacts with technologies. Thank you. Thank you so much to you for that amazing brief and information just now. And I'm sure all of our participants and the, all those 52 attendees here, thank you so much for your support. And please note those applications just now. And if you have any doubts regarding the applications or anything, just drop them in the Q&A section. And what's next? Honestly, I am very dazed from the GE's explanation just now. Dementia, that's very something very close to heart. It, uh, we're helping people with dementia. So without further ado, who's next going to be talking is Joan, who is also the co-lead for GDSCUM. So by the way, to remind everyone, you can just send any questions in the Q&A chat box, which is located here or here. I'm not sure it's either side. So go ahead and hit up anything, but please moderate it and we'll filter out those who are appropriate to what's coming up next. So without further ado, go ahead, Joan. Hello everyone, I'm Joan. So first, um, thank you Faris and also thank you Chi for explaining about our chapter. And I hope everyone is excited about what event is going to be conducted soon. So, but before that, let me introduce you to our team so that you know who is working behind GDICUM. Next. So you know G and I already, Joan. Then the next comes will be the tech 
ML division. So this team is led by Jia Heng. So together with his team members, they will bring you bring to you the Head Start machine learning workshops. So all of them are very passionate and also have certain level of expertise in doing machine learning. So I can assure you that the workshop is going to be very informative and you will learn a lot from them. The next focus is tech app, div app development division. So this tech team is led by Mara. This time they are going to present a project based workshop where you will be able to create an app prototype if you follow along their workshops till the end. So be sure not to miss the workshops organized by them as well. Moving on, we have Tech Talk team. So this is a brand new division in GDSC UM as we want to also focus on bringing different talks to our community. And next we will we are having community team. So this team is led by Case, who, who is in charge of um, they aim to connect members better by organizing different activities. And one of it is the Google Buddies. I hope you have joined this Google Buddies already. And last but not least, we have Creative Team, who is in charge of all the posters, stories you saw in social medias. And they also designed the club t-shirt for GDSC UM. And Daniel will brief more about it later. So right now, let me brief you more about the tentative events we have for the year. Starting next week, we will be having two different tracks going on, which is Android Development in Action and also Head Start Machine Learning. Do take note that um, the dates for these two events for Android Development in Action is, is going to happen every Friday night weekly, while Head Start, Mach Head Start Machine Learning is going to happen on Saturday night bi-weekly. So don't miss it, guys. And the next event is going to be Tech Talk, which will be talking about getting started with Git and GitHub. And it is scheduled on 21st of November. And for those who have registered for Google Buddies, I'm sure you have been contacted by your core team, by our core team, to have your very first ice breaking soon. So what's next? Yeah. Our, our events are not limited to these four events only. There are still many, many other events in planning. And if you notice, you can see that Google Solution Challenge seems like playing a big part in the upcoming event. Yeah, and yes, it is. The next slide. So what is Google Solution Challenge? Google Solution Challenge is a flagship event of GDSC to create solutions. This is this Google Solution Challenge is open to all university students around the world, and the submission period for your solution is usually within January to March 2022. And the team for Google Solution Challenge next year will be revealed in January, and it is very soon. Next. So what is it actually about this, GD this Google Solution Challenge? So basically, you will have to form your team and identify a problem in your community. Next, you will need to build a solution by integrating Google technologies such as Flutter, Google Cloud products, TensorFlow, and many other more into your solution. So here, I, here is a link I think I have sent to you. Um, this is a link to the Demo Day of Solution Challenge 2021. From here, you can see a lot of solutions from different countries and how they use their knowledge in technologies to solve the problem in their community. So we are here organizing these events such as tech talks and workshops to better prepare members in participating in participating in this Google Solution Challenge. And yeah, that's all from my part. Now I will pass the floor back to Faris. Thank you so much, Joan, for that really exciting, exciting explanation. I feel like I'm on the edge of my chair, which I am. And who is next on our list? Don't forget, I'm gone now, but I'm still here. So don't forget, in the Q&A section, please send any messages. We'll just entertain you guys. Any questions? There also was a question on if we can become a software engineer into our club. Don't forget, anyone from any faculty in UM can join this club. So keep that in mind. Also, now, who's next to talk is Maral, who's the tech 
um, tech co-lead from the tech app uh, team. So without further ado, go ahead and take on the floor, Mara. Hello everyone, I'm Moral, I'm Tech Co-Lead and I'm leading app team in GDSC. Uh, so far, I hope that you guys had a good day and you're jo uh, enjoying our uh, info session. So let's just get started uh, that what we're going to do in our workshop. Next slide, please. I'll be back. Uh, so, the slides, previous slide. Uh, so uh, in uh, in app team, uh, we're going to do a workshop called Android development in action. So from the name, should you, you should get an idea of that. We're going to really uh, kickstart our uh, programming code and sk uh, programming skills to build an application. So uh, next slide, please. Um, so during the workshops, we try to do a project together, just like how you would uh, build uh, an app or a project for your coursework. But however, this will be a workshop that we all work on it together. So uh, we, we will develop an Android app using Android Studio. And the only prerequisites to join our workshop is for you to know Java language programming. And our workshop's objective are, uh, I said before, to develop an uh, Android app using Android Studio and to integrate Firebase to, uh, uh, to Android Studio app and to integrate a pre-trained machine learning model to our Android app. So by the end of all these sessions and when we complete our project, you should be expecting yourself to build any app uh, using Android Studio with any idea yet that you have. So you should be expecting yourself that you're kind of intermediate programmer in Android Studio. So next slide, please. So now let's dive into to see what exactly we do every session. So session one, introduction to Android Studio and Firebase. What exactly we learn is that we learn some terminology in Android development and we explore and get familiar with Android Studio environment itself and the uh, fire uh, and we try to also explore on Firebase project and its environment and how Firebase is being used in different uh, projects. And we move on to our second session. Next slide. Uh, so. Uh, in this session, we will learn about responsive UI and Google services. What exactly are these? So for a UI, we try to explore on material design in Android Studio and we try to make interactive, attractive or responsive UI. And we integrate Google services in our application to enable Google sign in functionality in our app. Uh, that I'm sure that you guys already know when you want to register to any website or web application, the first thing that you see sign in with Google. So we're going to learn how to do that. And lastly, we also try to learn about Firebase authentication and get use of it in our application. Uh, and moving on to third session. Uh, third session, Firebase storage and real time database. So what exactly we learn? Uh, we first of all, we try to access uh, users mobile uh, gallery from the app, which uh, it requires some uh, special uh, permission to access and uh, uh, and then we try to save images or file into Firebase storage that we connect Firebase uh, storage in our app and we save a text, uh, some text data in Firebase real-time database. Here also we try to integrate or connect Firebase real-time database in our project. And moving on to session four. Uh, session four topic uh, is dynamic data in Android development. So in session three, as I mentioned, we try to save things or object into Firebase. Now it's the time to retrieve those back and read it in our application. So we try to retrieve data from real-time database and uh, Firebase uh, storage. And for handling those data, 
uh, we need to know some uh, some uh, object to handle those dynamic data, and we use array list object in Java programming language. And lastly, we try to add an animation to our uh, app to make it more attractive and fun. So moving on to our last session and the most interesting part that I'm sure that everyone will love to work on this session. I uh, will do a famous landmark detection using our file uh, using a TensorFlow light. So what we exactly will learn is that we have introduction to TensorFlow light that you need to learn about the components or the objects in TensorFlow light. And we try to import a pre-trained machine learning model into the project. And lastly, we try to do a prediction in app, and that prediction is landmark detection from an image. So our uh, project has a theme. It uh, it has everything ready for us to work on it, and you just have to stay tuned and see what's going on. So, and next slide, please. Okay. At the end of uh, at the end of all this session, as I said before, and you should expect in yourself to build in any application that you like uh, with Android Studio. So here we also want to challenge those knowledge that we learned together. So for that, we come up with Android Development Challenge. Uh, which requires you, if you would like to participate, which requires you to do either of these two options that I'm, uh, I'm going to mention right now. First of all, is that to improve the project that we work on during the session by adding new features or uh, by changing the UI modification and uh, anything that you would like to do uh, with that uh, project, uh, project that we are doing during the session. Or if you uh, if you want to build any app with your own desired topic, if you would like to solve any solution that you want, it's OK and you can do it. And you have to submit your application uh, to us in this period of uh, for, uh, fourth um, December to 12th December. And it should be uh, next site. It should be ready about to get also very mysterious prize and you will be also featured on our, our, in our social media and stay tuned for more details on our challenge i hope that you guys will come and i'll see you all there thank you all uh, and if you have any question just drop it in the q a session so i'll pass the mic back to faris thank you so much mara for that very very interesting um presentation from just now what do you think what do you think do you, do you think it's interesting it was quite interesting and i really want the participants 62 attendees thank you all wow. please note the calendars note the days in your calendars and never miss any events that was stated by moral just now thanks so sweet hopper and now i think yes there are, we can see more questions are coming in the q a just drop all of the questions that you have and our committee member are always there to help you through all the doubts and faris what's next what's next is going to be a presentation by hong on uh, on the introduction to the ml workshop so without further ado hong take away yeah thank you faris all right so Am I seeing the slide for ML? Yes. OK, so ML for me and my team, we are preparing the workshop called Head Start Machine Learning to kickstart your ML journey. So we are going to prepare you for a basic understanding of ML to get you further in the field. So you will work on a machine learning project in the workshop using scikit-learn, and then you will also learn about neural network and train a neural network with TensorFlow to recognize digit. Yeah, so it not just that, we will also include more data set for you to solve throughout the workshop. All right, so moving on to the first workshop session. So the first session will be basic concepts of machine learning. In this workshop, we are going to introduce the first machine learning model that people will come into when they enter the field of ML. And it is linear regression. And 
we are going to introduce you a concept called gradient descent and this gradient descent is the actual way a machine can learn so gradient descent is how a machine can learn and we'll learn it here and then we'll introduce you some problem of machine learning such as overfitting and underfitting and we'll code a linear regression model from scratch in the session yeah so moving on to session two for session two to get you to get you further in the in the ml context so we are going to help you in the python library side we are going to introduce some of the python function to you so that you can get going faster and then the first library we'll introduce you is numpy which is for scientific computation it is mostly used for matrix multiplication which is uh, widely used in the context of ml and then it will be pandas which is a library for data preprocessing and then matplotlib a library for plotting yeah so moving on to session number three Se session number three will go through a full workflow of ml project which is we are going through data cleaning process and then data exploration pro process and then we will select a model based on based on the data and then finally we will train a model using the data and finally we will tune the hyperparameter until we get the best model out of it so in this project we are going to make prediction using the data using the model in scikit-learn yeah and then moving on to session number four so i think session number four is the most exciting session for many of us and it is on tensorflow which is a library this is a framework for neural networks so we are going to help you in to, in understanding neural networks and then we will build a neural networks using tensorflow and then yeah as what i've said just now we are going to train a neural network to make prediction on data set such as a digit data set or closed data set yeah so i think we are going to have this workshop going very well because my member are preparing a lot right now so stay tuned for that that's all from me i'll pass my mic back to faris thank you so much hong on that very 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 interesting uh, presentation on machine learning, TensorFlow. As an AI student myself, I'm probably more biased on this, but what about you, Pravin? What do you think? I'm quite excited, but I think I'm more interested in the next session because the next session is quite special for both me and Faris since it's from the Tech Talk thing. But please send in your questions in the QA box and don't forget to just send anything, but please keep it moderated. So, what is it, Pravin? Yes, and yes, I would like to highlight. Yes, if your question isn't being answered, yes, just keep calm because our team is trying our best to answer your questions as fast as we can. And if it's not answered by them in the chat box, there will be a session for us to Q and A and respond it orally. Uh, yeah. And yeah, we'll text. at the end of the event. Mm. But now let's get it going, and we would like to invite Kai, our Tech Talk lead, to get going. All right, thanks, Pravin. Okay, hi everyone, I'm Kyrina, the Tech Talk Lead for GDSCU M this year. Like mentioned just now, our MCs Faris and Pravin here are also the core members of the Tech Talk team. So be familiar with our faces. And uh, I hope everyone is doing good. Really excited to share with you all what me and my team are planning. Um, if you can go to the next slide. So the main objective of this developer club is to provide an interactive and engaging space for upcoming developers to share ideas and knowledge. While the objective of the Tech Talk team of GDSCUM is that we'll be making sure all of you actually have fun learning and developing through our talks. So the first step to that is of course, the kind of topics that we'll be bringing in. To make sure everyone feels welcome and included, We'll be organizing several tech talks ranging from beginner friendly to advanced tech topics. We'll also organize industry related talks as well to help all of us to be employee ready once we graduate. As a GDSCUM member, you guys can expect at least one tech talk each month with speakers from various backgrounds and experience. Anticipate us to invite not only established industry experts will also have student developers just like us either from UM or other universities. Um, 
Most importantly, this is where I want to highlight the most. Just like our workshops, our tech talks and speaker sessions will also be conducted in a relaxing and engaging environment. So you guys don't really have to worry about these events being boring like the lectures we have in degree, no stress and we'll all have fun learning. Uh, next slide, please. I'm pretty sure he, everyone here is wondering what are the upcoming talks planned? As mentioned by our colleague, Joan, our first tech talk is on Git and GitHub. We'll be releasing invites from two weeks time. Everyone can register and attend on the 21st of November. Besides Git and GitHub, I can't really reveal all the tech talks planned by GDSC. I want to make you guys excited. But generally, um, the topics that you see on the screen here, yeah, that are what we are going to touch on. Um, since this is a Google Club, obviously we'll be talking about Google technologies to name a few. Um, Fletcher, Android, Firebase, TensorFlow, all of that good stuff. As developers, we should explore as much as tech as we can. So we'll be touching technologies outside of Google like web development, data science and um, machine learning. We did send out a Google form the other day asking you guys what kind of events you want to see. And for Tech Talk, most of the responses, responses suggested career talks and freelancing. So yeah, definitely expect that. Lastly, not just about tech and career, there's also a possibility we'll be having other random topics. We'll have knowledge sharing from industry experts on just about anything that's relevant for us to know as upcoming developers. So maybe cryptocurrency, digital forensics, who knows, the possibilities are endless. Um, yeah, so expect a wide variety of topics from us. If you think there's a big topic that everyone should know about, at the end of this info session, we'll have a feedback form. We'll release it in the, the you guys can scan a QR code. You guys can write in your suggestions for our future tech talks. Um, after the feedback form, maybe you guys suddenly have new newer ideas you guys can reach out to us or the Tech Talk team to Discord. And yeah, we look forward to see more great ideas from you guys. Next slide. While we wait for the upcoming events, you guys can head on to our YouTube channel. You'll find a lot of hidden gems in there. We uploaded recordings of our previous events. To name one of my favorites, there's Flutter Fundamentals, um, ML talks like this one here from Mr. Anathan Nambia, where we talk about NLP. We have impressive speakers like um, Darren Tan. If you're active in the developer community, you should already know who he is. There's also another YouTube channel, GDSC Malaysia. Um, head on there and you can find more content like the art of doing coding and designing by Mr. Chi Seng. So yeah, a lot of valuable knowledge that can be accessed at your free time. We'll send the links to these YouTube channels in the Discord server later, so please do subscribe and support us. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all for me. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next Tech Talks. Thank you all. Back to you, Fabri. Thank you so much, Kai. I think this was really exciting because being part of the Tech Talk team, I'm really excited for the upcoming Tech Talks and I would sure that any of you and each of you would like about the cryptocurrency topic because it is something that's going on demand right now. So if you don't know about cryptocurrency, wait for our Tech Talk and you can know more about well, that's it. That's not confirmed yet though. Yes. It, it might be something else. So mm -hmm. we just don't get your hopes up, but just it's all interesting. Trust yes. me. I'm from Tech Talk team and I know. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, if you have any doubts, drop it in the Q&A section and we will try our best to answer your questions as fast as we can. And also, I would like to specifically, sp specifically thank to those who invited their grandmothers into our live right now because we have 65 attendees. We went from 28 to 65. From the start, it was 28. Now it's 65 attendees. <laughs> Give a round of applause for ourselves. Thank you so much to those who invited your own grandmothers. So without further ado, who's next is going to be Case, who's a community lead, who's going to be uh, who's going to give an explanation on what's to be uh, expected from the community team. So without further ado, go ahead and take the floor, Case. Hello, thank you so much to the very enthusiastic host, Faiz. So hi everyone, my name is Keseva and I'm the head of the community team for GDSC this year. 
So today I'll be talking about uh, our main initiative, actually Google Buddies. This is one of our initiative and we'll be uh, carrying out many other activities in the future. So next slide, please, Faiz. All right, so Google Buddies, what is it? So this is an initiative done by GDSC to promote engagement within the club itself. So what we essentially do is that we pair up three to four members um, that have registered for the thing and they are paired together based on certain criteria. So we actually put out a registration form earlier. Unfortunately, for those who want to register, the, the registration deadline has closed. It closed on the 26th. And um, yeah, the things that we used to pair them up together were based on the Google form that we spread out. So some of the criteria were like interest, year of study, programming languages that they want to learn, or programming languages that they have learned. So, for example, if someone were to say a novice in Python and they want to deepen their understanding in that specific language, they will be paired with someone that is proficient in the language. So they'll be paired with someone that uh, they'll be given a network to be able to communicate with uh, someone regarding any of their questions or anything to deepen their understanding later on. They are also paired on interest. So say if someone is uh, interested in competitive programming, they might even have a group to go on to compete in competitions later on. So we'll be having our icebreaking session like um, in, a, in the coming week, as uh, Joan mentioned just now. And I uh, will only be in the group until the icebreaking session is, um, is done. After that, we'll be, we'll be leaving the group and the participants will be free to do their own activities later on. So they can either play computer games or even join events. So since they are free to do whatever they want, uh, we will still be uh, contacting them later on to maybe uh, take part in competitions, say for workshops that are being carried out by Jiaheng or Maral. When we have any competitions related to that, they might be able to participate in a, uh, in a team for that. We might also have other events where they will be able to participate in the team. But for those that are not in the Google Buddies team, fret not, we will make sure that you will, you will also be uh, able to participate in this community engagement activities. So that's all for me. If you have any questions, do feel free to leave it in the Q&A section. Thank you. Back to the host. Thank you so much, Case. But uh, in the meantime, <clears throat> I think we lost Faris in the moment. Um, we'll be get back to him soon. But now, actually, I'm here. My name is Faris, I'm not Faris, but no problem case. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, who's going to be talking today? Well, but first, let's give a comment on what was what was happening just now in the community team. Do you think the Google Buddies thing will be very helpful for us? Do you think, do you think so? Yeah, I think it is really going to help people who are already uh, applied for the registration, but currently it's closed. Sorry to those who want to apply right now, but we do, we will have more events in the future and more bonding sessions, bonding sessions in the future, but for those who have joined, you are going to be excited and interested whatever is upcoming there. Don't forget, invite everyone, everyone, including your grandmothers. I'm sorry to offend anyone, but okay, sure. Just invite your parents, invite your um, siblings, invite your friends, everyone, even your cats, dogs, everyone. Just invite them, please. Exactly. Just get, get really high numbers for that. We really like high numbers. Yes, for those who are staying right now, you're going to get more information afterwards and please stay until the end. And thank you so much for your attention and your participation right here. And next upcoming, I would like to invite our multimedia lead, Daniel, to talk more about our club t-shirt and merch. Excuse me, Daniel. I am very sorry. I think we're having some technical difficulties. Um, it's said that Daniel's Wi-Fi is off currently, so uh, I'm very sorry. But you know what? Let's just take our time and just wait until Daniel comes back. But in the meantime, <laughs> thank you. Thank you to those who said that we like watching Twitch TV because hmm, who knows? I um do do am I a really good streamer then? Okay, so in the meantime, I'll wait for Daniel. Let's just um let's just entertain you guys. So um let's go through the chat one by one. 
Yes, if you have any doubts, please drop it in the Q&A section. We can answer those. All right, so one question I saw just now was that what is our um, social media platforms? You can just go on to the link that was replied to there, which is the link tree. But, mm -hmm. you know, if most of us who use Instagram, um, just go to gdsc.um on Instagram and you'll see that it's just there and we'll update there mostly. You can also join our Discord server. I'm sure it's in that link tree as well, but for simpler terms, I think it's better for you to join the um, IG page so that the link tree is there. Um, so what's next? Mm, I like your guys' response. It's so positive and I love you guys' energy and so much to learn from. Yes, there's a lot more to learn from here. Just keep abreast with all the new events here and I'm sure you're going to get benefited from it. And I know you guys can see our background, but yeah, there are a lot of bees here. It's just outside our window. It's a bit, it's a bit creepy, but still. Um, all right, so will we be working on the YouTube API. So I hope your question is already answered by Jia uh, Hong. Sorry, sorry to say that we won't work on that. So I'm sorry to say that as well. Um, uh, all right. So either way, um, I feel like Daniel is um, Daniel won't be coming anytime soon. So we'll we'll just uh, do the presentation ourselves. So, you, you know, impromptu, as they say it. So let's just open our screen right now. So our club t-shirt, as per usual, even if you think that I'm a Twitch streamer, any Twitch streamer will always have their own merch. So, but this is not my merch. This is from the multimedia team. Daniel, who's not here, unfortunately, because of technical issues. I think he's already here. Hello. Your mic is open, yes. Yes, we got Daniel back. Woo! Welcome back, Daniel. Round of applause for him. Woo! And people who already left, please call back your grandma to join back because Daniel is on the floor and we are inviting him right wait, wait, wait. now. No, not grandma, please, please. Your fan people. Okay, it's okay. Not okay. Just invite your individuals. Family. We'll invite friends, anyone. Okay. So, anyways, Daniel, take on. Okay. Thank you, um, Faris, and also Pravin for helping me out. So yeah, um, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, suddenly the Wi-Fi got, uh, I think it's got turned off. Now. So yeah, um, so here we are, the club shirt for the GDSCUM members. So uh, move on to the next slide, please. Okay, so here is our club t-shirt. Um, it's uh, red color and also the design is uh, just simple design. Uh, it states the GDSCUM and also the logo there and at the back side of the um, uh, of the shirt we can have uh, you can see the name there as member and then at the right sleeve there it's our session which is 2122 and at the right side of the sleeve is states um, our GDSC um name lah. so uh, i will give you the link uh, at the chat box so that um, for those who are interested can uh, purchase their shirts lah. and yeah the price is 27 27 ringgit and the material for the shirt is cotton lah. so anyone interested to buy uh, can click the link in the chat box and yeah, feel free to buy as much as you want. There's no limit. And also you can show off to your friends and invite your friends uh, to buy. So yeah, that's all from the creative team. Uh, I pass back to you, Faris. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daniel, on that very informative and very... You know what? I feel like I want to buy for that, that shirt myself. Do you think it looks really cool? Yeah, it looks really cool. And I think all those 59 attendees, please, please go and book those shirts if you really like GDSC and want to be part of my family, our family, not just my... And it's also... Not Twarga Malaysia, but Twarga Google. <laughs> so, okay, and don't forget, what do we have next? What we have next is the feedback form. So... Unfortunately, things will have to come to an end 
eventually, I mean, it's not like you guys want to see my face all the time, right? So, I mean, let's go, let's go to the feedback form on the Google Slides here. Mm. All right. So you can go send me on live. And the feedback form is right on there. Yep, so now you'll be seeing on your screen right now is the feedback form. So go ahead and scan it and send your feedbacks in regards to this uh, event. We'll give you three minutes. So at 9.48 or 9.47, something like that, two minutes, three minutes, it's fine. Um, then we'll be, <clears throat> we'll be um, ending the event. So go ahead and while you guys are filling in that form, we'll just be entertaining the comment section. So if you could please, um, I'll just add my face in here as well because I really, really like my face. I'm just going to send myself live. <laughs> so yes, in the meantime, for those who have already filled the feedback form, please don't hesitate to drop your questions in the Q&A section. And thanks to all those 56 people who are currently staying and want to know more. You guys are a real, real deal, man. You guys are really doing really something else. So um, here is um, the comment section. Can students outside of UM join in on these workshops? Yes, yes, everyone. I'd like to remind everyone who's watching around 56. We Can we get that number higher? If we get it until like maybe 60, maybe I'll do something. Yeah, I just saw someone say my cat is watching. Just bring your pets in as well. Yeah, please, just, please. Just, on a separate device, okay? We need yeah, more yeah. views. If, they, if you somehow have a device for your cat, that is something that I've never heard of, but that's something amazing on its own. So just invite your dog, your cat, anyone. Just mm. watch it together. Watch it. Maybe maybe let's think it'd be nice. Maybe 56 individuals are watching with their families. So mm. they have families of four. So it's 56 times four. So maybe that's the, that's the case. So I'm really hoping all of you to fill the feedback form because we want to make our next event as better as possible to become our best event as possible ever. And hoping all of you to drop any new comments or any new Q and A's in the section. All right. So one of you guys said you need a buddy. I'm here for you. I can be your buddy. So you know. Um. All right. Uh. So let's see here. So we're currently going through unpublished questions right here. So it's good that you all are keeping it appropriate. And thanks for that. Yep. I'm not sure if this one comment is very appropriate enough though, but either way, I feel like our event is supposed to end at 10. So should we end it now should, or, or are we supposed to just continue it on? I'll just say, yes, let's just continue until 10. So just want to ask who should I approach to give some advice? Advice on what, my friend? You can just continue to send any question. Just bombard the whole comment section if anything you want. I can mm -hmm. see the bees right here, quite scary. I am not even know these are real bees. Okay, so since I think these are the last few minutes, we're going to open it for one minute for last. And if you have anything to scan the QR code and give some feedback or to drop some questions, this is the last minute, everybody. So take your time, use the moment. 9.48, we're going to say bye bye. All right, so just say anything, say anything, just, just do, just, you know, we're here for you. We're here for you, man. And let's say if the meet has ended, but you couldn't get any answers for your questions, don't worry, there's a link tree link down there for our social media accounts. You can go there and ask any questions in the personal DM and we will try our best to answer there. All right, so I feel like it's already been one minute. Has yeah. It been? So mm -hmm. it's it's sad, sad to see that I'm going to go away, but do you feel like it's sad to see Pravin go away? I'm sure everyone's going to be sad when they see me going away. Do you think so, Pravin? Yeah, yeah. It's, I think it's our first event as MC together. So I think we have done our best. And for all those committee members and also the attendees here, thank you. Thank you so much for this amazing contribution of all these months for this one single event. And it, it went great. Yep. So what has, what, what to wrap it up? So what's been happening for this event? So we had a talk on by our two, co -le two leads, G and Joan, which is going to be talking about the club briefing about what our club did, mm -hmm. timeline, club members, introducing the fleets of each uh, team. Solution challenge and more about Android development challenge, machine learning from Hong and also tech talk promotions by Kai and also Google Buddies talk about by Cash and also don't forget the club t-shirt by Daniel. You can't forget the merch, please, please. If you do buy it, you'll end up supporting our club as well. So, you know, who knows? We might end up making more events and give more prizes for example so remind them dates so the dates the dates will be updated on social media exactly. from time to time mm. so <laughs> i'm i'm sorry if i said that out loud so things are going quite hectic here so yeah so this person just complimented us on a simple design so 
Thank yes. you, thank you so much. The design um, is not ours, but is our part of our division here. So thanks to the team who was working on it. Thank you so much, and we take that thank you as a whole, as a team, as a family here. Mm. For the Google, not for the Malaysia. So should we end? Yes, we should end. So in the end, thank you so so much to the 51 people who stayed till the end watching this Google Developer Info Day, which is very our first event in for the year for the session. So to repeat, what was our event? Google, Google Developers, developers Info Day. Day. So <laughs> I'm sorry for that starter. So anyways, I'm thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. So we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.